Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our gravesites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad.
The grease monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Got a sec? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. 
That's what my dad used to say anyways. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh, what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? That seems well within your expertise. The way we do it's by cutting off power to the others. The ones who left. Adelaide McDevitt's encampment. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the Collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. I don't have time for this. 